So Shopify versus Etsy, which is the better platform to use as an e-commerce seller. We're going to go over a number of different categories in this video, looking at Shopify, some of the pros and cons of it, and then compare it to Etsy. Both of these are really prominent platforms for selling online and you want to make sure that you are using the right one to sell your products on. Now, there's going to be a lot of things we're talking about in this video. First of all, we're looking at some of the differences between the two. And then I want to share some of the uh, features that I think are really important to understand from both of them, looking at the ease to start on both Shopify and Etsy, comparing uh, some of the customization capabilities of both platforms. Then we're going to talk about pricing, which is something that's very important to a lot of sellers. Which one is going to be the best for pricing? How much is it going to cost you. We're going to look at the differences between those two. And then we're also going to talk about things like SEO and marketing, which one is going to be the better platform overall to build and scale your online business. So let's go ahead and get started with this video right now. We're going to start off with understanding, first of all, the differences between both Shopify and Etsy. Shopify and Etsy, these are two very different platforms. So with Shopify, it is a standalone store. This is going to be your own website. You'll have your own domain and you're going to sell your products on there. Now with that, it means that you have to go out and find your customers because you're building your own website. You're building your standalone website that you own. You can customize so many things in there. With Etsy, Etsy is actually what we call an online marketplace, similar to things like Amazon and eBay, where there are already about 500 million monthly visits to Etsy's website. And so you can sell on that marketplace. I kind of think of these two as like, Etsy is kind of like selling at a farmer's market where there's already an established like area that people are going to. They're walking by your table where you're selling things. And Shopify is your own store that you have to like find customers and get them into the door. Now, there are big differences between the two. And we'll talk about these because Etsy does charge more fees. And, so, you know, there are some downsides to it that I think are really important to go over. And by the way, we have a full tutorial on how to set up and run a Shopify store. It's over an hour long. I'll leave a link to that down below in the description if you want to check it out. Uh, you can also get Shopify for $1 for the first month when you sign up using the link below in the description, or you go to centralmedia.com slash Shopify. I'll leave those links down below if you want to get started with that and just start building out your store right now. So let's start off actually with talking about the ease to start. Which one is going to be the platform that's easier to use for beginners if you have really no experience of selling anything? So first of all, let's look at Etsy, and then we'll look at Shopify. On Etsy, the beauty of this is that because it is an online marketplace, they already have a lot of things that are built out for the tens of thousands of other sellers on the platform. And so this is very similar to if you've ever sold anything on eBay, it's pretty similar. So it's really easy to set up. You can just go through their flow of opening your Etsy shop. I'll leave a link to that down below as well, or you can just go to etsy.com slash sell. And to open up your Etsy shop, you just need to put in your details and you can get up and running with that today. It's pretty easy to get that started. But with that, you also don't have a lot of customization features, but it is pretty straightforward and they do have a lot of resources showing you how to set up your store. So I would say Etsy is very easy. You're probably not going to get too confused when you start selling on that. I will also make a full tutorial on how to sell on Etsy. If that's something that you would like to see, please let me know down below in the comment section. Shopify is going to be a little bit more difficult to get up and running. And that's just because they have so many different features and customization capabilities. And so because Shopify is a little bit more difficult to get started with because you're building out your own store, your own website. They also do have this resources page on Shopify. If you're on shopify.com, you can see all these different things. They have 24 seven support for you. If you have trouble building your store, they can help you out with that. And then they also have these how to guides that are really useful for setting up your store. Like I said, we also have like over an hour long tutorial showing you how to set up a Shopify store. So if you are worried about the difficulty of it, don't worry, like you can do it. You don't need to have coding experience. You don't need to be like super highly educated to make your own Shopify store. It's just a little bit more difficult than Etsy. I think it's worth it to go through that little bit of difficulty because I think overall, this is going to be something that if you use Shopify, you can really build a large professional brand off of it on your own website. So that's the differences between both of those in terms of the ease to start on that. The winner on this would probably be Etsy. It's just easier and more straightforward to get started. Now let's talk about category number two, which is customization. Okay. So which one has more customization? 
customization features. This one is definitely Shopify. So the beauty of Shopify is that we can choose from hundreds of different themes on the theme store. And so you can make your store look like any of these different themes. There are hundreds of these. And so you have really an incredible amount of customization capabilities. This is why some of the largest e-commerce brands in the world use Shopify. I'm talking like Lululemon, some like multi-billion dollar companies that use Shopify and you don't really see them selling on Etsy as much. And that's because it's just probably the most legit way to be an e-commerce seller is using Shopify. So we have themes. This has so many different options here. You can see there's over 200 different themes. There's 13 different free themes as well that you can use. And so that is one of the features. Then also on top of that, we have things like Shopify apps, not to confuse you here, but this is, these are all these different things you can add into your store. So you can have marketing integrated into your Shopify store. You can have reservations. So like if you have any type of site and you want to, you know, build out like all these different features on here, we have something called the Shopify app store, which has thousands of different features and customization capabilities that you can add onto your site. Now you go back to what I said in the first point about ease of use. This is why people get a little bit concerned about it because it's like overwhelming, but we show you how to set all of that up in the Shopify tutorial that I said earlier is going to be linked below in the description. So Shopify is really, there's so many customization features on Etsy in terms of customization, you really don't have much. Now, if you do sign up for the premium version as an Etsy seller, you do get a few more options for customization, but you're really, you're kind of limited on what you can do, your storefront, it's going to be pretty limited. And that's just because you're selling on Etsy's platform and they want it to look like all of the other listings. That's the differences between uh, Shopify and Etsy in terms of customization. The winner here is definitely with Shopify. And sometimes it can be just some simple little customization things that are going to completely put Shopify way higher of a category than something like Etsy. For example, on Shopify, you can download Shopify apps onto your store that will help you to have upsells so that when someone clicks on an item, they add it to cart, you can upsell them some other type of item. You can't really do that with Etsy like you can with Shopify. So that's really a great benefit to it. Now let's talk about pricing. Which one is going to be better pricing for sellers, Shopify or Etsy? Now let's first of all, look at the pricing on Etsy. Etsy has a 20 cent listing fee for every item that you are listing on the platform. Now, they also have a 6.5% transaction fee for every sale that you are making. Uh, and then there's a payment processing fee of about 3% plus 25 cents for every purchase that's made through your Etsy store. Now, when you add up all of these different fees, you're coming out to probably around 10% of the total selling price goes towards fees on Etsy. That's not including shipping. That's literally just fees that Etsy is taking for selling on their platform. Now, the reason why they're able to charge these very high fees is because, well, there's already people searching for products on Etsy. And so maybe you don't have to do as much marketing on the platform because there's already customers coming in. So they charge some pretty expensive fees. Now, if you think about this, if you're selling $500 a month in your products on Etsy, you might be spending upwards of $50 a month on fees when it's all said and done between payment processing and Etsy fees and everything else. So Etsy, while it does look cheap, it only says it's 20 cents plus, you know, 6.5%. When you do add it up, it does get pretty expensive. I would say that Etsy is probably better for people who are selling a couple of items per month. But now let's look at Shopify pricing, which starts out at $29 per month for the basic plan. Now with this, you're getting so many different features. You have all those themes that you can choose from. You have a lot of different features that you're getting in here that you can use with Shopify for $29 a month. Now, I know this can seem kind of expensive for some people, but when you factor in how expensive these Etsy fees are when you are selling more than a few items per month, Shopify actually ends up being a lot cheaper. So this is what I said earlier about any like very large business. Almost all of them are using Shopify for selling their products. And that's because, you know, they have all those customization features, but pricing is actually really not bad when you're doing high volume. Now you still do have to deal with payment processing fees, which are going to come out to, you know, about 3%, give or take a little bit, but you don't have to deal with that 6.5% platform fee that Etsy would be charging. And you don't have listing fees for every product that you're listing as well. So that's the benefit to using Shopify. So which one is the winner here, Shopify or Etsy in terms of pricing? 
Well, the answer really does depend. If you're selling more than a few items per month, then Shopify actually probably would end up being cheaper. I would say if you're selling more than three, four, five hundred dollars a month in total products, then Shopify can end up being cheaper. If you're doing low volume and you're only selling a few items per month, then Etsy might be cheaper because you're not paying that $29 per month. So that's up to you to decide which one is going to be better. I know a lot of sellers who use both. They use Etsy and they also use Shopify and it works pretty well. Okay, so now another category that I think is really important to look at is search engine optimization and marketing. Basically, how are you getting your customers to buy your product? And on these platforms, it's actually going to be very different. So with Etsy, like I said, there's over 500 million monthly people visiting the site. And so because of this, there's a lot of people coming in, looking at your Etsy listings, and you probably didn't have to pay any marketing expenses to get them there. They just organically searched it up and found your product on Etsy. And sometimes they end up buying it. And so your marketing costs when you're selling on Etsy can be a lot lower because you don't have to go out and find as many customers. A lot of them are coming directly to you. Kind of like what I said earlier about how I view it like selling at like a farmer's market. There's people going by and they see your product and they buy it. So that's with Etsy. You can rank in Etsy search. And if you rank well on some of those terms, you can just sell products without having to do very much. Now, there all also is more increased competition because they can compare your product to dozens of other products inside of Etsy's dashboard. So that can be a positive and a negative. But with Shopify, in terms of marketing, you're going to have to do more on your own. So I would recommend Shopify for people who maybe you already have a social media presence, like you've built up an Instagram following for your brand, or you're starting to make TikToks for your brand, and you can directly drive those viewers, those fans to your Shopify store. That can be a really great method for doing that. You can also learn how to run Google ads, Facebook ads, Instagram ads. We actually have videos for all of these different ads platforms. So I will link to those down below. If you want to run Pinterest ads, Snapchat ads, like we have ads tutorials on pretty much every platform. It's really useful to know when you are selling products, how to run ads, because they can be very effective and really useful for if you're selling on Shopify. Now, also you can rank on Google with your Shopify store. So if you write blog articles on your Shopify, store, you can actually start to rank in Google when someone searches something up and they can find your online store. And that is going to be organic free traffic for you to get to your site. Now, also with Shopify, I would say that it really legitimizes your brand because you're going to have your own custom domain. And so instead of, you know, if someone asks you, what is your store? Like, where can I buy your product? Instead of telling them, you know, it's uh, etsy.com slash, you know, whatever my store name is, you can just tell them, you know, it's my store name.com. It can be like Nate's uh, cool t-shirts.com, right? And that could be my Shopify domain that I can send people to. So it's a lot easier to market that. And, you know, it does really legitimize your brand when you have a Shopify store. Now, overall pros and cons, some other just pointers and important things that I think are important to understand before you make a decision on whether you want to use Shopify or Etsy is that one of my biggest concerns with Etsy or one of the downsides to Etsy is that you don't own your store. And so, I've seen this happen before. You can get kicked off of selling on Etsy, or if there's any type of dispute between you and the buyer of a product, they usually side with the buyer. And so I've seen this happen a lot on Etsy and on eBay and on Amazon for people who are selling on Amazon, where because you don't own your store, like you're selling on a third party marketplace, there's a lot of cases where yeah, you just don't own your store and they can kick you off. You can be doing a million dollars a year in sales on Etsy. And maybe if you violate their terms of service or there's some disputes, they can just kick you off whenever they want. They don't are not legally obligated to have you selling on their platform. I've seen it happen to people. And it's just because you don't own your store. You're, you're, you're basically on rented land. If you want to use that terminology there instead of actually owning your store. So that's one of the biggest downsides to Etsy. I just say, be careful with that. And I think if you want to build a really legitimate, very large business, then I really would suggest figuring out how to sell on Shopify. Some of the largest companies in the world, multi-billion dollar companies sell on Shopify. So I'll leave a link to that down below, like I said, for the Shopify tutorial. So you can get started with that. We really try to help you out as much as possible to make sure that you set up a successful store. And I will also create an SE tutorial. If that's something you would like to see, please let me know. And maybe if you're watching this video, I've already made it by now. So I'll link to that down below as well. Okay. So hopefully this video was helpful for you in deciding deciding which platform to use as an online seller. A lot of people choose to use both Etsy and Shopify. Uh, you can use both of them at the same time. I think overall, 
what I think is really important to understand is that long term, I think Shopify should be a goal for most people. That's how you're going to build the biggest brand. There are people who sell millions of dollars on Etsy, but there's not anyone who sells billions of dollars with a product on Etsy. That's not the case with Shopify. There are multi-billion dollar companies on Shopify. And so I would say really the sky's the limit with Shopify. You can scale to infinite levels versus Etsy, which is a little bit harder to get to the millions of dollars. So it really just depends on your goals and what you're looking for. Both are great platforms. I hope this video was valuable to you in a number of ways. If it was, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Let me know your thoughts or questions down below in the comment section. And don't forget to check out that full Shopify tutorial. I think it should be helpful for a lot of people trying to get started. So thanks for watching and I'll see everybody sometime in a future video.